He was too perfect. Do you even need me around? It's not you, it's me. I need to discover myself. I'm bored. <laughs> Yo, when I saw this came out, I can't. I saw. I first saw this via Twitter, mind you. I don't know when I saw this. Let me see. Let me show the tweet real quick. This I saw this via Shadaya Knight, right? Uh, was it April 12th? Or a couple of days prior, even before that. And I already knew it was going to go viral. Where you have almost an Aisha Curry-like tweet coming uh, uh coming out talking about where the woman is basically saying he's too perfect or basically coming up with nothing <laughs> coming up with nothing to destroy a union with and it's because it's, it's, it's not only just destroying a union there's kids involved they got two kids together if i'm not mistaken so this is kaka's ex-wife caroline Celico. um I don't, I don't know how to say her last name caroline chelico right so right here we're going to read the article and by the way, when it comes to Kaka, before I read the article, when it comes to Kaka, guy, he literally, not only was he the best, he's, he's won everything you can to win in football. And, and I'm, I'm talking about in Europe, they call it soccer, football in Europe and everywhere else. <laughs> but he's won everything there is to win in football. He's won the World Cup. He's won Copa America. He's won Champions League. He's won his, uh, the domestic leagues that he's, that he, that he's participated in. Uh, part of one of the greatest Milan sides to ever one sorry one of the i'm talking about he's been part of squads where he was the best player in and i'm telling you like the the squads are legitimately when you talk about the ac milan squad that won the champions league um the brazil squads that he was a part of like these squads are like considered some of the best lineups <laughs> like just the, he'd be part of the best line i'm talking about the best lineups to ever be put on a football pitch he's won ballon d'or he's been voted as the best player in the world he was considered at one point the best player in the world and mind you before i'm talking about before cristiano ronaldo and messi were winning the ball ballon d'or every year it was either the two of them he's the only he was the he was the only person when it was between messi ronaldo kaka he won it <laughs> meaning Messi and, and Ronaldo were his opponents to win Ballon d'Or and he won it. He's the only person that can say that uh, up, up until uh, 2018 when Modric won it. And people think that Modric didn't deserve it. And here you have Kaká. This is one of the most respected footballers, one of the most beloved footballers when you talk about Kaká, Iniesta, Ronaldinho, where even like the opponents respect him. The fans respect, like Kaká is one of the most like respected players. Just, just, just. Period. He's one of the most respected players. He's really not hated at all. You know what I mean? He's one of those rare guys. He's just not. He's just not a hated footballer. But here you have a bish in your life. Oh my god, a bish, your biggest hater. Talking about he was too perfect. Hence why I'm going to divorce and uh, also uh, uh, I'm going to keep more kids from. <laughs> I don't know. How, I don't know how the custody agreement uh, worked. But I hope that Kaka was able to keep the kids. But knowing Kaka, he probably let her have the kids. Knowing how Kaka is, he, he probably let her have the kids. So right here, we're going to read from the article. It says, in 2005, Kaka married his childhood sweetheart, Caroline Chalico, in Sao Paulo, in, in, and then in, in Sao Paulo, Brazil. In 2015, the duo announced divorce on social media. So it was a 10-year marriage, about, it looks like. Brazil football star Kaka, well, that, because around 2015, he retired, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see something real quick. I hope that doesn't happen to Messi when he retires and then she decides to divorce. Because I'll say there's one red flag about Messi and his girl is I found out that their original story, their origin story. I found out that Messi and his his main girl what was basically. She chose Messi because he had a, a better future than the other guy that. Uh, she was with she left another dude for Messi when they were kids like Messi was always like she he, they knew Messi and that girl knew each other. But he, Messi was always in a friend zone and he escaped the friend zone when he made it pro <laughs> for Barca. <laughs> I was like, no, I wish I never, I wish they never told me that. <laughs> I wish they never told me that. So that's a lot of, that's a, a red flag for me that I found out. That was, I was like, no, 
So let's go on Kaka's Wikipedia because I because I think he retired. You see, yeah, exactly. So surprise, surprise, he's he retires. Well, so, oh, actually, no, never mind. I'm wrong. So, but when he went when when Kaka went to Orlando City in his last years, that was basically his last year. So he was going to retire like very soon. So clearly, when Kaka went to Orlando, she started to already sense because we already know when 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 famous footballers go to the United States, they go there to retire. So she saw that she was like, "Oh, um, well, there's nothing more that I could use you for." <laughs> I man, I hope that doesn't happen to Messi because I, I oh man, because they they you know because these three hundred fours, man. Anyway, let's go back to the article. Says Brazil football star Kaká is often considered one of the most handsome footballers ever. Not only his looks, the attacking midfielder was popular for his pace, dribbling abilities, and scoring prowess. He was, I'm telling you, as a like a as a soccer fan myself, football fan, right? Kaká was one of the best players I've ever seen play. Um, he was amazing. In his, in his, I'm talking about before his knee injuries, and you know sometimes people look at how it didn't quite. He had a solid stint at Real Madrid, just not world class and that was because uh, Ozil was there so Ozil ended up taking his place in the starting lineup uh but Kaka, I'm telling you um when he was at his best especially when he was playing for Milan he was damn near unplayable at times so he was he was he you he was he was amazing he was amazing and also when they said Kaka considered often considered one of the most handsome footballers yes these are he has he has a full head of hair vicious love Kaka he was brazilian he oh also six foot one six foot two so he's not one of the the short football players that you usually see <laughs> just it's just like damn he was an attacker you know what I'm saying like what more could you ask for but you know I, I, this is why I was trying to tell with the Aisha Curry thing because well I when Aisha Curry was talking about I still want ma- uh, uh, other male attention I'm like you literally have the perfect like the man that every woman would literally die for <laughs> but it's still never enough. It's still never enough. So right here, I'm still reading from the article. In his career, Kaká played for top European clubs like AC Milan and Real Madrid. He was also selected for the 2002 World Cup winning squad and also played in the 2006 FIFA World Cup. And he also played in the 2010 World Cup, but that didn't work out because he got robbed. One of the Ivory Coast players did him dirty. Um, In 2005, Kaká, and on top of that, he was playing with a knee injury that he should have not. He should have not played in the 2010 World Cup because he was playing with a nagging knee injury that ended up costing him his career. Anyway. In 2005, Kaká married his childhood sweetheart, Caroline Celico in Sao Paulo, Brazil. In 2015, the duo announced a divorce on social media. Now, Caroline has revealed an intriguing reason behind their divorce. She says, Kaká never betrayed me. He treated me well. He gave me a wonderful family, but I was not happy. Something was missing. The problem was he was too perfect for me. (laughs) Hey, man, you can't make this stuff up, man. You cannot make this stuff up. Now, We've been trying to tell dudes like or people in general, women just divorce because they can. It's not even necessarily about them being bored. It's just they just can do it. They can. And the laws allow them to do it without little to no penalty. If you literally have laws where you're in their incent when they're where where women are not incentivized to stay in their family, when you have laws like that, I don't know why people expect women to to be honorable and just ignore the incentives for breaking up. The families. Anyway, Caroline Salika was quoted as saying by several Brazilian and European news outlets in 2019, Kaká announced his engagement to Brazilian model Carol- Carolina Diaz. On the other hand, Caroline married Eduardo Scarpa Julial in 2021. So, <laughs> so he even lost that. So Kaká even also lost that woman. Former Brazilian World Cup champion Kaká announced his retirement in 2017. He says, I am preparing to continue in football and to have a different role, but I will no longer be a professional football player and athlete. He told Global Television Den, I would like to take part in a club in a role more like a manager, a sporting director or someone between the field and the club. On his Twitter feed, the 2007 Ballon d'Or winner was also part of Brazil's 2002 World Cup winning team. By by the way, he said, posted a prayer. By the way, I want you to look at the players in that world cup winning team i'm talking about even the bench players even the players that were the reserve players that end up being like world-class superstars i I mean that that was a stacked ass team anyway (laughs) 
it read, Father, it was much more than I could ever imagine. Thank you. I'm now ready for the next journey in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, yeah. By the way, Kaka was a very religious man. Very like he like he wore his religion on his sleeve. That's why I always I always laugh at like the people who Tebow la, la, lost his job because of his religion. And I was like, you guys clearly don't ever watch soccer, bro. <laughs> I'm like, first of all, like Kaka might be the most religious person ever, but they don't really care about that. They just care that you're good. It's about your skills. Tebow couldn't wasn't a skillful person in a lot more trouble than he was worth anyways <laughs> again but like like i said like god fear he's literally everything that women are asking for six feet tall superstar well respected i'm like he's not even a hated figure bro he's i, I keep he's not i'm telling you I, i'm telling you kaka is one of the most loved and respected players in football just in terms of reverence and deference and respect that footballers see him they just be like man shout out to you that, that that's that boy right there he was never like He's in, he's in that class of like Iniesta, Ronaldinho, uh, um, Ronaldo Nazario, the Brazilian Ronaldo, guys like that. They're not hated. You know, he's under that guys. Somebody said during a storied career, the attacking midfielder also started at Real Madrid and finished his playing days at U.S. Club Orlando City in Major League Soccer. You know, so also let me show you Shadaya Knight via Twitter. Anybody that doesn't on um, who's a, a bit unfamiliar, uh, Shadaya Knight, that was the guy. Uh, <laughs> that, that was the guy that had that really, um, he had that viral clip via YouTube. This guy right here. One drunk man. So Shadiah Knight, I, I don't know if you, I, I need you guys to follow him on Twitter. He was the one that made this, 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 this famous. How we're moving. One drunk man is more intelligent than three women with PhDs. Thank you so much. That's um, thank, thank you so much. That's thank you so much. That's That's much. That's um. <laughs> so yeah, Shadiah Knight, man, he's hilarious. I remember they was calling him like the African Andrew Tate, but I, I I don't like that. But he's funny. I like this guy. So right here, I'm going to read his tweet. And this is where I found out about what Kaka's ex-wife had said. So right here, he goes on to say in his tweet, that is the destiny of every perfect man. He will get cheated on or dumped. dumped. Why? Because when a man is perfect, it makes being with him boring. Remember, Women are dramatic by nature, so when a man is perfect, he denies her the drama she craves. When she's with her fellow woman, all they're talking about is the drama <laughs> the men in their lives bring. Now she'll feel left out because she's got no drama to talk about. Women by their nature are masochists. They derive pleasure from pain. A perfect man doesn't give pain, therefore there's no pleasure. She wants an imperfect man who will rile up her emotions, make her sad, angry, cry, then happy after explains to you why women last longer in toxic relationships than in stable relationships why a woman will always go back to her toxic ass even if he's damaged her countless time why it's not perfect so it's not boring learn or perish and by the way they're saying that they were a uh, kaka and his wife they were both virgins when they married to each other which i don't believe <laughs> i believe kaka was a virgin but i don't believe she was but <laughs> uh but but this is why when I had I had dropped these clips when I said women don't like being in stable, normal relationships, because especially when she's going back to her den of demons, who she calls friends, she's going to have nothing to complain about. They just a lot of the times. So if she has nothing to complain about, there's literally nothing to talk about when w women only talk about drama. They can't even they, they can't talk about sports. They can't talk about the weather. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're always talking about nonsense. So a lot of the times when women are even complaining about their men, they're literally making stuff up on the fly just to let you guys know because I've, I've seen I've, I've seen i've witnessed this they'll literally make up something just to keep the conversation going and just to keep the delusion going this is why i always said also said when i when i was talking about sierra and russell wilson i said sierra wants out because she can't even do what she wants to do because she's with a russell wilson because she's with a responsible person because she's uh he uh you know she did that whole sierra's prayer thing right so now anytime she tries to do some ratchet ish or she tries to do things outside the box, her own ratchet hood rat fans will call her out and be like, no, you can't do that stuff no more. You found your Russell Wilson. You know what I mean? So this is why. You know, that's why I was I, you, you'll see like women talk about, oh, yeah, I was in a toxic relationship, but I was with him for 15 years. But he was. Giving me the, the, the what's it, the Stone Cold Austin, the Ray Mysterio six nine. <laughs> They'll talk about they've been in an abusive, a physical re abusive relationship for 15, 20 years. And then you go on a date with her and you sneeze wrong. And then she's running from you talking about <laughs> he showed too much red flags, <laughs> you know, but that's how it works. And I, I always tell people, uh, you know, I remember a dude tried to tell me he was like, look, 
the taller you are, the better. But but he said, but 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 he said, but specifically, the more toxic you are, and the taller you are, the better. Because the guy that, that was talking to me, he was six. He was six five. He was trying to tell me like, don't. He said he basically told me don't even bother looking at the stuff these hoes be putting on Instagram. He says these bitches be coming home to me and they be cooking for me and then they be tweeting about they don't cook, but they do. <laughs> and he, this dude got he got he 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 he. Sh- the woman that he's with, they know they're sharing him, right? And he t- and he t- and he literally told me just like, look, tall you are better. But he said, but specifically the he said, but now since I'm at that position, the more toxic I am, the more that I act out, the more that they're loyal to, to me. And he was he was just basically giving me the game right there because people think it's just tall. No, it's not just tall. You need to be. I always say this because this is what a woman told me, a grown woman, mind you, when I was like what like 16 or 17 years old she literally said no i like do she said i like tall dudes that need therapy <laughs> so that's this is this is who they are loyal to and i'm talking about they will literally do everything for that man you know what i'm saying um it's, it's unfortunate to happen to Kaka because they share kids together they share kids together so men will see news like this and they'll be like damn what's <laughs> there's no there's no point for me ain't no point for me and not only they're seeing that they're seeing the, de- the, the, uh, the degenerates, the drug dealers, the people, the, the the dudes that are considered toxic or bad, sweeping up out here, getting the best loyalty from the baddest bitches. And they're just like, what? And then now here you are, you, you have a woman like this in literally the perfect situation. And I'm talking about nothing even happened. Nothing happened to, to her. Nothing happened to Kaka. Nothing happened to, in terms of, she was still going to be able, she, she still is going to get taken care of, but she still just blows up the family. And this is what men are afraid of. She's bored. Oh, okay. I'm going to just blow up the family. This is why as long as the laws are the, the way they are, there's, there's zero point in getting married. It's zero point in being in a long-term relationship. But man, shout out to Kaka. He doesn't deserve that. Ka, ka, like Kaka, come on. He doesn't deserve that. <laughs> I always say, I don't think it's good to be liked. I, I'm going to stand on that because Kaka is well received. Well, I, you know what? I believe this. If Kaka was known as like an asshole or people hated him, like the way people hate Balotelli for no reason, I think she would still be with him. That's my, that's my, that's, I don't, I don't think it's good to be like, well, like you respected. Oh, a, a lot of the times that can be overrated because in terms of, in terms of this, if you're, I'm talking about not overrated, let, let me take that back. Meaning, in terms of being well liked is not necessarily the best way to keep a 304 around but that's the code word a 304 so i don't think men should be okay i'm going to be a criminal now because <laughs> women only like criminals that's not a good idea but i'm just telling you i believe it kaka kaka was known as a mercurial person like zlatan ibrahimovic his like his woman ain't going nowhere like zlatan got a soldier with him just to let you just to let you know but zlatan has that has that um mercurial personality uh a mercurial uh like uh a reputation you know what i'm saying so and he's perceived to be very arrogant you know you know what i mean so if you're considered like a good dude she's gonna find any excuse to break it up unfortunately that's how it works (laughs) 